Good morning, I'm Lauren Hayes for the Finance News Network. Stocks rose for another session on Tuesday. A decline in yields contributed to the latest gain and new data for further clues into the health of the US economy. The yield on the benchmark 10-year Treasury note was last down by around 12 basis points at 4.1%. The two-year Treasury yield was last down around three basis points at 4.46%. Data-wise, the S&P CoreLogic Case-Shiller 20-City House Price Index, released Tuesday, showed home prices fell 1.3% in August, but were still 13.1% higher than a year ago. The Consumer Confidence Index also fell, showing the view on the economy has soured after two months of the outlook improving. It appears that the market is just starting to get some indication that economic data moving forward is likely to slow, with the knock-on effects meaning the aggressive stance of the Fed may indeed ease. The Dow Jones Industrial Average traded 1.1% higher, the S&P 500 advanced 1.6% and the Nasdaq popped 2.3%. Wall Street is now looking towards earnings from key tech companies. Meta Platforms report Wednesday, followed by Amazon and Apple on Thursday. Given their sheer size and market cap, any moves are likely to impact market direction. On top of that, traders poured over a number of corporate reports. General Motors and Coca-Cola rose 1.4% and 2.5% respectively after reporting stronger than forecasted earnings. Xerox plummeted 14.5% after earnings per share came in at less than half of what was expected. So far this season, companies have proven they may be faring better than anticipated. Fact set data shows that through Tuesday morning, 71% of the companies that reported topped analyst expectations for earnings per share. Across the sectors, if you didn't think that the market was about interest rates, then look at the real estate sector today. If Treasury yields have peaked, are peaking or will soon peak, the real estate sector's cost of capital declines, the pressure on cap rates eases and their dividend payouts grow more attractive relative to risk-free treasuries. The index was certainly beaten up enough to deserve a bounce. Its 31% loss in 2022 is exceeded only by communication services 35% plunge. In after-hours trading, Alphabet shares dropped 5% after the company reported weaker-than-expected earnings and revenue for the third quarter. And Microsoft shares fell 2% in extended trading on Tuesday after the software maker reported softer cloud revenue than expected in its fiscal first quarter. No rebound overnight in China linked stocks with the likes of Alibaba now back below its issue price. On the currency front, one Australian dollar has strengthened compared to the US dollar yesterday, buying 63.95 US cents. Now to commodities, iron ore futures are pointing to a 0.3% gain, gold gained 0.2%, silver added 0.8%, copper lost 0.8% and oil gained 0.4%. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.8% gain. I'm Lauren Hayes. Have a great day.